it's taken me a while to decide how I feel about this guitar. Is it actually any good? This is the Sheriff Basic from the Outlaw series from Faisley Guitars, a stripped-back, cheaper alternative to their Sheriff Plus series. If you want to save yourself £30 to £40, buy this. I wouldn't, but I'll explain why soon. In this video, I'm going to go over the specs, demonstrate some isolated tones, and give my opinion on this guitar. I've had this guitar for around a couple of months now, and... I feel like I'm able to give a reasonable perspective on it. This guitar is currently on sale at Bax Music for £110. There's a link in the description below that takes you to its page and will give you a more accurate and up-to-date price. It's got a 25.5 inch scale length, 9.5 inch radius, a hand-stained older body. Uh, this one's black, but they're also available in brown, blue, green and red. It's got a maple neck, a rosewood fretboard and 22 medium jumbo frets. It has a Graftec tusk nut, which is very cool, two humbuckers, two-point tremolo, volume, tone, and a three-way switch. And just like on their Plus model, there isn't a coil split on this, but they do make a HSS or SSS version of this guitar if you want some more traditional Strat tones. At the start of this video, you heard this guitar in a mix. Now I'll demo some isolated tones to give you a more accurate idea of the sound you can expect if you buy one of these guitars.
don't think this is a bad guitar, but it's far from a great guitar. It's perfectly fine for the money. The action out of the box was a bit high, but that's nothing to worry about really. The pickups don't sound very good and are microphonic, so once you start adding gain, it becomes a problem very quickly. Recording the intro track was a bit of a struggle and that was recording direct at a reasonable volume. If you go back and listen to it, you can actually hear me doing my best to control it during the lead guitar track. The neck is fast and comfortable. I don't have any complaints about that. The guitar itself is easily the lightest guitar I've ever played in my life. But the biggest problem by far for this guitar, is the Sheriff Plus. For a bit extra, 30 to 40 pounds, you can go from having an okay, cheap guitar to potentially, if it's anything like the one they sent me, a really great guitar that easily beats most other guitars in its price range that sounds good, feels premium, and you'll be happy with it for far longer. The pickups sound so much better and have been properly wax potted. The fret job is far, far better and has clearly had a lot more time spent on it. There are positives for this guitar. The tuning stability has been really good and the weight of it, like I mentioned, this the lightest guitar I've ever picked up. It's not a bad playing guitar and I think if I spent an hour or so working on the neck and setting it up properly, it'd be much better. But that's not gonna cure these pickups though, so if you do get one of these, I'd recommend getting rid of these and buying something cheap from Iron Gear or another budget brand. That'll make a huge difference to this guitar. Or, just buy the Plus version. If you are interested in this guitar, then check out my video just here. It's on the Plus version, so you can hear and compare the two and decide for yourself if it's worth saving or spending the extra 40 pounds. You can find all the relevant links in the description below. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you so much for watching.